We're just over a month away from the World Cup in Qatar, and these are eight rules and regulations that you'll have to abide by to be safe and sound in Qatar. Firstly, no drinking alcohol. I'm assuming this is going to be a big challenge for football fans globally, but you'll have to abide by it and watch these games sober. Rule number two, no homosexuality. Clearly, this is uh, different than the Western world, and I think this is going to be quite challenging to govern, but rule number two. Rule number three, we've got, it looks like a woman with high heels on, no immodesty. So I'm assuming that women need to be covered up and, again, very different than the Western. Rule number four, no profanity. For this reason, I will not be going to the World Cup. Watch your language, folks. Five, I think a fair rule. You know, respect the worship areas and the religion of the area. You know, pretty straightforward, so don't disrespect the religion of people in Qatar. Rule number six, no loud music. Sorry, I'll try to get out of the way here. Uh, no loud music. Uh, this is going to be an issue to trying to get hyped up pregame for the teams. And uh, even, a, well, I guess there's going to be no pre-drinks, so no loud music. Forget about downloading Tinder or Hinge while you're there. Forget about it. No dating is rule number seven. Not sure, you know, what this looks like or what these rule, how are these are going to be governed, but there's just no dating allowed at the World Cup of Guitar. And finally, for all you gym influencers... No taking pictures while at the gym is rule number eight. Keep your phones in your pockets, keep your music down, and work out respectively. These are eight rules that you're going to have to abide by at the World Cup Qatar.